In this video, I'm going to give you some tips of how to prepare your child for school. Simple things that you might not think of, but are really important to have them in the routine of doing before they actually start day one. So simple things like a lunchbox. Charlie, we need to know how to open and close our lunchbox, don't we? So having the ability to use a zip themselves, again, a very simple thing that you might think is very easy to do, but they might not have had to do it themselves. The other thing that is really important is having that understanding of we eat our snack first and then we eat our lunch. So having your, Charlie, what would you have for snack time? What do we have at snack time? We have a banana. Good girl. We have carrot puffs. Oh, we have a yogurt. Beautiful. So we usually eat our fruit in the morning as our snack. And then what do we eat at lunchtime? We eat our sandwich. We eat our sandwich. So if we have a sandwich, we might have wraps, we might have saladas. But having that understanding that snack time is our fruit and our yogurts and our healthy food. And then our lunchtime is sandwiches, wraps and saladas. Snack time is in the morning and that is when we encourage students to eat their fruit and their yogurts and all their other little snacky things. So it's a really good habit to get them in to actually, when it's eating time, sit down. We're focusing on eating. We're not looking TVs, we're not watching because they do get really distracted. So actually having that time and giving them that time to get in the habit. When we start prep, we give them much longer than 10 minutes because it is them getting into the habit of sitting and actually eating and not being too excited about what's around them. And lunchtime is usually in the afternoon. So again, it's about 10 minutes eating time that we give them because they're not actually able to take, we encourage them not to take the food outside. So we eat it at our eating time. So leading up to starting school, it's a really great thing to get them into the actual habit of having snack time and doing the time in the morning and having them to practice it at the lunch time as well because it just gets them into that routine really quickly so when they're at school it's not a big shock to the system that they have a certain time of when they have to eat so it's really good to give them a bit of a practice before they start school. So at the beginning of the year we do encourage to put your child in velcro shoes we do have a policy that we take our shoes on and off a lot and it is a lot easier than all the teachers having to tie shoes because a lot of students don't know how to tie their shoes right when they begin and that's okay it's something we can work on so a velcro shoe is much easier put on and off if your child does know how to tie their shoelaces shoelaces are absolutely fine charlie can you show us a way that you remember how to tie your shoelaces and then you pull it and then what do you make bunny ears bunny ears good girl Good girl, well done. And another really good thing to practice too is actually getting it on, putting the shoes on the right feet. Left on left foot, right on right foot. We would prefer if your child doesn't know how to tie their shoelaces to please bring them in Velcro shoes. It is just much easier for them to transition from activity to activity. They've got their shoes on, ready to go, quick as a flash, instead of them struggling to get their shoelaces tied and all done up for them. Another really important thing for your child to be able to do themselves is to actually unpack and pack their bag. It's another really, really important skill of independence that they need to be able to do as soon as they start school. So a great thing to do before they start is get them to have a bit of a practice, get them to be in charge and responsible to put their lunchbox and their blue folder in. They will have a blue folder like this and it is called the communications folder. And what we do is we put their readers and any communication that you guys need, notices, anything like that comes home in the blue folder. And your child is always encouraged to give you the blue folder, check what's in there, and then you can send back any correspondence in here and we check it every day. So Charlie, can you show us how we pack our bag? is to teach them persistence get them to try it try it again because that's the only way they're going to get in the habit of doing it and learn it well done well done and finally it is a really really important thing as well that we encourage them to pack and carry their own bag so you're not expected to carry their bag we teach them that that is their responsibility to carry their bag see you gently boxing <laughs>